I'm Paul Valverding, and I've been working with HIV since the epidemic started. I'm an academic physician at the University of California, San Francisco. The AMFAR Institute for HIV Cure Research is our current focus for a lot of our cure research here in San Francisco. It is an ambitious program to bring together the talent, the new discoveries, to allow us to better understand the problem of HIV in the body that makes this a chronic disease and to develop treatments in humans that can restore an HIV cure. It's a remarkable collection of people, senior scientists, more junior scientists, people with different perspectives on science from clinical to really fundamental basic research. We share excitement in each other's science. It's been really great being flexible, having the Amphar Foundation being willing to take chances with us and us sometimes pushing the foundation. So it's a wonderful dynamic. It's definitely a partnership. We're going for complete eradication. That's what we want to achieve. On the other hand, we believe that it might well be possible that the progress we make towards that goal might get us to the point where there's a limited amount of virus in the body uh, and that the body's own immune system might be able to keep that under control. We want a cure that not only works, but that is scalable, that can be developed for resource-limited settings as well as for this country. And so we think that that's going to involve small molecules, not just gene therapy or cellular-based therapy, but medicines that can activate the latent virus, the virus that's hiding within the cells, and can then help focus the body's immune system to control those cells. We think of it more as shock and kill and or control. Uh, so it's, it's a combination of getting rid of the virus and helping the body control the virus. Normal lifespan, no transmission, and no daily medicines. To me, that's a good summary of a cure. We know we can't cure HIV unless we try, and we think it's time to start trying. So we are right now gearing up for some very ambitious, complicated trials using some novel treatments. Probably the biggest challenge that we find in cure research is just better understanding what latent infection is where the virus is hiding. We can look for it in the blood, but we know that it's also in the tissue. It's also a matter of finding better ways to turn on the virus gene, which is inserted in cells, so it's part of your genetic code. We have to turn that virus on in order to flush it out of the cells without causing the cells themselves to become inflamed and, and activated. I don't think there's another disease, another epidemic that approaches HIV in the way that it's layered between the medicine, the biology, the society, the politics. The virus and the epidemic exist in a social context, and that includes uh, issues of stigma. It includes issues of medication adherence, remembering, uh, being able to take the medicines, uh, staying in care. So I think cure work has all those issues. The Amphar Foundation is aware of the social context in a unique way, and I think that's reflected in our discussions and in our projects. I'd like to think that we've learned something by working with this epidemic, things that can be a model for the future. One of the most exciting things in the biology of HIV is how this virus opens the door to new avenues of research that can be used for other diseases as well, many other diseases. Some of the very same processes are going on with a variety of diseases, and so that's giving us a lot of energy in our work. I increasingly think of the arc of the epidemic, you know, having had this amazing opportunity personally to have participated in some of the early approaches to treatment that were well-meaning but ineffective to watch young people dying by the thousands. To be here when we developed effective treatments in the mid-1990s and to still be here at a time when we can talk seriously about the possibility of a cure, 
Uh, we've seen other chronic viral infections now easily cured. That gives us a hope that this horrible arc of this epidemic can be brought to an end.